I thought I'd have a quick look on the internet about how to do a 10th anniversary business speech as you do. And they said, whatever you do, don't go over a load of milestones of your business year by year because it'll be a complete failure. So, fuck it, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> so, but I'm going to keep it really short and there's a reason why I'm doing it because it involves all the team. So, I'm not going first. There's ten little anecdotes. I'll tell you what we did. Me and Paul, we sat down for five minutes today and we thought, what are the ten things that we really remember in the last ten years? And... We didn't, so we say this instead. Paul starts. Ah, Paul starts. It's speed stories. <laughs> speed stories. So <laughs> this is our 10th anniversary uh, to the public. Uh, what a lot of you might not know is that the four of us who started Black Star actually left Marshall three years before that. So we spent three years completely undercover. None of our friends or family knew what we were up to, all working in Ian's garden shed and home offices. Any of you who visited the UK know that we like to talk about the weather a lot, and that's because it changes quite a lot. So during that time, we had rain showers, we had snow, we had sun, and we were also prototyping the 200-watt Series 1 you've been listening to tonight. So you can imagine we weren't particularly popular with Ian's neighbours during that time. Exactly. Right. So, number two that I remember is... Um, People often think of when we started Blackstar, we, 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 as four bold men. Well, the two of us here, Richard and Bruce, can't make it tonight. But it was four bold men. We used to work for Marshall, and you know the story. But actually, very, very quickly after the four bold men came two men with hair. Uh, one of them, we've got up on stage tonight, Mr Richardson, who is the company custodian of all things follicle. It, it is my real hair. <laughs> Show, it, show off. <laughs> <laughs> and um, with, with Joel also joined us Keith Dudley, who, um, as everybody knows, can't make it tonight. So, round of applause for Keith. We all remember him every day and we think about him. Uh, but, but without those guys, none of this could have happened. So, as much as the four ball men, the two hairy men were extremely important. Story number two. Story number three. Our first Frankfurt. So the official launch of the company, the year was 2007. It's March. There's only four ball men doing everything, and there's only a week to go till the show. So again, we're back at Ian's house. We're out on his patio in his backyard, stroke garden, depending on where you're from. And Ian and Richard are assembling prototype units, bringing them through into Ian's front room, where I'm trying to photograph them for the catalogue. So I've got a full Series 1 stack at one end of his lounge, the room's not that big, so I'm on the back of the couch with the camera trying to take the photos and then putting the catalogue together in the evening. Unfortunately, there's a lot of black in a Black Star catalogue, and it takes a long time to dry. So unfortunately, we miscalculated on the printing. <laughs> and <laughs> Sound effects. <laughs> and um, so when we drove on to, to Frankfurt, we went across in a transit van, all of us, and we had to stop at South Mim Services on the way to pick up the catalogues because it only just dried. Okay, mate, this is one of the other stories. Anyway, so we're all about products, we're all about guitar tone. Uh, it's, it's not a matter of life and death, guitar tone. Jared, I'm sure you'll agree. It's much, much more important <laughs> than that. So every day, that's what we do. We go to work and we spend all day with our brilliant engineers and listeners creating brilliant amplifiers. And um, the first amp that ever got a review was the Artisan 30, which is still in our catalogue and still, some people might say, our best sounding product or one of them. And um, Yes! Yes, it's an absolute stormer. And um, that was the result of three, four years of really hard work absolutely nailing that sort of classic rock sound. And um, so I remember the day that we got our first ever review, which was a Guitarist Gold Award by Nick Guppy, a reviewer. Thanks to the, to the guys from the press who've helped us out all the way along. Massive thing for us. We spent all that time and we didn't know if people were gonna dig it. And the first review was a Gold Award and that's it, we knew we were off. So that's story number four. four. Story number five, it's another first. It was our first NAM show. So this is when we got Mr. Lauren Molinaire, rock and roll legend, on board. Round of applause for Lauren, please. Lauren! 
Thank you. And we had a small booth, and it, we fought hard, Lauren fought hard, to get us on the upstairs of the NAMM show. And we weren't really sure what the reaction was going to be. And we just launched HT Venue. And it went down so popular, we had to give people tickets to come back for appointments to meet with us. They were literally queuing around the booth, which was just fantastic. And I also remember the fact that we got a number of noise violations where they threatened to shut down the booth because we were too noisy. Yes. <laughs> We've had more noise violation <coughs> tickets than any other amp brand in the last decade. <laughs> Fucking right. Fact. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> we collect them proudly. Um, here's another one for you. Just a little personal one, but everybody kind of know about this. All our customers, friends, distributors, dealers around the world. HT Club 40. Um, brilliant amp. We haven't got one up here, but it's basically been our best-selling valve amp for the last decade. And it's kind of one of the best-selling, best-sounding valve amps in the world. And I remember we spent a long, long time developing that product again, trying to get the best sound we could for like under $1,000 in a combo. And I, one thing that really sticks with me, and it was the first thing on my list actually, was going to our factory, which in, at the time was in um, Jeju Island in Korea, believe it or not, but it was what an obscure place, but like a Bond island with a volcano in the middle. But anyway, we had a big factory there. And um, I just remember seeing the first 50 HT Club 40s. And we'd always thought, these amps are going to be so cool. And they're going to look so great. But when you saw 50 of them in a line and I'd sent the photographs home, it was just a moment where we thought, again, we can't lose because these amps are going to be so cool. So just seeing a product come from nothing all that hard work and seeing it come out to you guys to play, that's what it's all about. It was a lot of late nights, a lot of whiteboards, a lot of coffee. We're quite engineering, even the non-engineers of us, so there was lots of lists of fucking colours, airplanes. Shall we say what some of the like... ones that didn't make it were? <laughs> I'm not sure we should. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember those. No. There were some bad ones. Oh, no. <laughs> so the important thing for us was that it was um, a name that had lots of layers of meaning. So black, well, black's rock and roll. Star, it's aspirational, it's cool. It's a Malmsteen song, it's a Radiohead song. After we did it, Bowie copied us, and it's now a Bowie album as well. So uh, that's where it came from. Story number seven. I remember when a mutual friend of us introduced us to an incredibly talented guitarist who you're going to see in a minute, Mr. Gus G. And this was at a time just before, or just when he was getting signed um, up with Ozzy and was about to go out on tour with Ozzy. Um, we were privileged to work with him on our very first signature product, product which was the, um, the HT Blackfire tube overdrive pedal. Gus is an amazingly talented guitarist and he's also an absolutely top guy and it's been a pleasure working with him. Um, and all the other artists that we've worked with over the years, but um, that was a really special moment when we first produced that product. Can I do 7.1? 7.1 oh, is another Gus story, which was um, <laughs> as we were developing the amp, he used to come over quite often. We went round for dinner to Joel's house, and um, we had a few glasses of wine, and then we ended up, we ended up in Joel's bedroom. As can, <laughs> I can That's how all good, good evenings end. <laughs> <laughs> for me, anyway. <laughs> and uh, anyway, we ended up, can I say jamming with Gus, but it wasn't really a jam. It was me and Joel looking slightly embarrassed and sheepish, playing acoustic guitars. Playing while, uh, Wonderball by Oasis. Yeah. As, uh... <laughs> Whilst um, well, Gus played proper guitar over the top of it, but yeah, I'll never forget that. It was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, the neighbours were, were kind of knocking on the wall because we were making so much noise, but I don't think they ever would have believed I had Ozzy Osbourne's guitarist playing in my bedroom, so... <laughs> That's what you always say. In a tourist house in Northampton, England. Um, we're getting there now. Number eight on the story, Hit Parade. Um, USA market. We've got lots of our friends from the USA here. Um, it's always been really important. It's a very influential market, and a lot of music's played over here. And um, we've, we've done America three ways, as they say, in a, a culinary... Front. Back. And um, the most recent incarnation of Black Star has been working alongside Korg USA. Um, they've been our partners for around about, Paul, 
four or five years. Four or five six years. years. Six, six years. years. Yeah. Um, how long's it been? <laughs> and they know how to sell and promote amps. And like a lot of our distributors, absolutely best friends um, and partners. And they go out and fight the good fight, like the rest of you guys, every day. And we really appreciate it. And they've taken us from kind of number five and number six in the US to number two amp brand, which is super, super cool, and we couldn't do that without their support. Absolutely. Story number nine, um, we cut our teeth on valve products, tube products, established the brand, was successful doing that. But to really break through, we had to go into digital products. Dan Wright, who's lurking at the back somewhere, headed up our digital team, did a great job with ID series. Woo! Little cheer for Dan. Dan. Big cheer for Dan. <laughs> and what I remember with that is when we launched ID Core, which was the really cost effective entry level digital guitar amps, it just transformed the company in terms of our visibility and the amount of people that were, knew the brand and playing Blackstar. So that was a huge moment for us. Okay, cool. And the last thing on my list is kind of 10th anniversary stuff. So here we are, 10 years on. Um, just to want to take this opportunity to massive thanks to Phil and Jonathan for letting us use the, um, the amazing um, facilities you got here. It's absolutely cool and what an amazing job you guys have done in the last two or three years. It's absolutely incredible. So thanks to you for that. As always, Lauren <laughs> and all the support he gets from his fantastic family and Julie, thank you very much. Uh, it literally... A lot of this yeah. has happened from Lauren's garage, so <laughs> yeah. he works he bollocks off every day, and thank you very much for that. And then just putting this thing together, Mr. Alex G has worked super hard. He's our man in the States, and uh, thank you very much for that. And Joel Lidge, on our side, Joel has worked super hard. And the brilliant thing about this is me and Paul haven't really had to work very hard <laughs> to put this stuff together, so thanks. We really, really appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. Neil, we're on the home straight. <laughs> Hang in there. <laughs> okay, so we're just, we're just thinking, 10 years, it seems like, thinking, is it a long time? Does it seem like a long time or not? In some ways, it's like, it's only yesterday that we were on our little booth <laughs> and just trying to start out. But on the other hand, we've done so much that, yeah, it seems like 10 years, if I'm honest. <laughs> it seems like 10 really, really good years. And the thing that makes... That was 10 years, it's all the little incremental battles that we all win every day. So I, the thing for me, which I really understand, because I'm normally the boss, with Paul and the rest of the team, but I've done the job. I've been out, I've sold the products, my Marshall days demonstrating, I've designed the products, I've worked in a fucking cotton mill in Lancashire, for God's sake. I know what it's like to do the hard work. And the thing is, some organisations, companies don't appreciate that, but the, the little battles that everybody makes here, the distributors, the dealers, promoting Blackstar on our behalf every day is what makes the business work. It isn't what we do. We kind of set in a general direction, hopefully, but it's what everybody else does, which is super, super important. So all those little conversations, we'll never know how this, <laughs> this event really happened. We turned up and it was here it was by magic. magic, but it wasn't. These guys worked really, really hard, like it's their own business. And we are forever appreciative of all that shit, so thank you very much. Um, there you go. Yeah, I just want to say thanks everybody for coming. I think everybody in this room has helped us get to where we are after 10 years. Thanks for Lauren, Alex, Phil, for helping us put this together. It's quite hard to put on an event like this being 5,000 miles away, but you guys have made it a great event. And we've still got Gus to come as well. Yeah, right, we're done. Just two more words and I'm done. Yeah. Okay, man. So I just wanted to say, just go back to why we started the business, right? The reason we started the business was because guitar amplifiers are really important. And getting the sound is what it's all about. People, for them, it's more important than their whole lives is playing and getting out there. And we completely understand that. And the way that we did it was with just a small group of people with a huge amount of passion. But then, a uniqueness in what we did and creativity. But I think the thing Joel was just touching on there is 
it's all our partners. So we've got partners from literally around the world here today who've joined us. And without you guys, it would be absolutely impossible to achieve what we achieve. So distributors, you work for us every day and you clear up all our problems and we don't hear about it and we absolutely appreciate it. Every single one of you, thank you. The dealers, again, promoting the brand, selling the product, keeping the customers happy. The customers, the most important people, are the guitarists, like all of us, like 80% of the people in this room who aspire. And we kind of sell dreams, it's a bit cliche, but it's more than just a product. It's about people's way of life and what they aspire to. So let's not forget all that. And um, suppliers as well. There's people actually building these amps and they're really good people. <laughs> And um, people who supply the speakers, we've got a couple of great speaker manufacturers here tonight. Celestian Eminence, hello guys. Um, so, right across the board, we absolutely, this is a kind of a celebration of everything that we all do, rather than just what four ball men, a few people in Northampton do. So, thank you very much indeed. And thank you, I have to say, to our friends and families. So... We've, we've been supported through absolute thick and thin, beans on toast, no food, no heating, all that shit to get this happen. Jolich. Well, probably just one last thing to mention, I suppose, and it's Blackstar's 10th, but it's also somebody else's birthday. Mr. Hey Ho. <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite a special one as well, so happy birthday, mate. Thank special birthday. Thank you. Cool, we're going to get Jared back up now. Yeah. Here we come. Shall we? Yeah. Thank God He's a trooper. Thanks, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, everyone.